This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Don't try any of this at home. Get out in the bush first. Hey everybody, I'm Randy. And I'm Brian. And welcome to North and South. Today on North and South, we're going to make some birch oil. We'll show you the steps we took to make it. And we'll use it to light up a traditional oil lamp. So I'm sitting here with the stump of a paper birch. Um, this one has been cut and is now on the ground. Um, so I'm going to take, um, I'm going to harvest some of the uh, birch bark off of it uh, with my knife and then I'll show you what, uh, what we've got. You don't have to take as much care as I did here. There's other things we want to make with the birch bark, which is why I took my time taking this piece off. Peeling it off is just fine. Uh, so as you can see, there's a, there's a large paint can <clears throat> with some rocks on top. And uh, let me flip you around here. So the large paint can uh, with uh, the lid closed. Now that paint can is filled with birch bark as tight as we can get it. Um, you know, it, uh, it could be live, uh, live dead, live dead, whatever used uh, birch bark. You can fill it up in there as long as you just cram as much as you can in there and get that lid good and tight. And in the bottom, uh, we've punctured a hole with um, a sharp object like a nail to have it sort of, uh, so it, the steel kind of bends out. So it makes it like a little funnel. And right underneath there, uh, there's another small can uh, buried in the ground. And that's just gonna be catching all the, uh, the oil coming out of the can. Um, now Brian's put a little uh, hole, I don't, can't see it right now, um, on the lid. And that's just to let us know when it's done. Um, now we're gonna burn a fire around this um, and uh, until that's completely burnt out. We pull the can off the, the other can and uh, then we see how much uh, oil that we got. So uh, we're gonna finish prepping this, uh, this fire here and uh, we'll uh, see you back when we get started. See the smoke coming out of the hole there. Um, if you if you watch, let it go for a second, sorry. Come on. Not gonna do it. Huh? There's there's gases from the birch uh, coming out of there, and as the flames come up the side of the can, it ignite, ignites that and it creates kind of like a torch there. So Brian's just shielding it so that you can see the smoke coming out of the can. Birch oil has a lot of uses, even medicinal ones, but we're mainly using this for fuel. The process takes a while, and we burnt a lot of wood before it was done. But I gotta say, it was kinda cool to watch the flames created from the gases coming out of the can, especially in the dark. After burning for several hours, it's finally time to take off the can and see what we got. Hey. 
You can see it. Yeah. Process is long, and the yield is small for the amount of birch bark that we had. Not much. But we got enough fuel to use in our lamp. The wick we use is new. So it takes a bit before it soaks up some of the oil. But we finally get it soaked enough to get it started. And it works like a charm. So that was our video on how to make birch oil. Um, so if you like this video, uh, you want to see more videos, um, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you later.